men now more than ever. If we remove men from a society, the whole society collapses. It ceases to exist. It cannot stand. If men had no testosterone, which is happening, it's decreasing every single day, we are at the lowest point we have ever been. I have as much testosterone right now when I should be at my prime as my grandfather who is in his, uh, in his, his eight, how old is he? This comes from the microplastics, it comes from the foods we eat, it comes from the, the soy in all of our, our men's products, uh, such as like mass gain or things like that, right? Hot pockets, I didn't know soy was in hot pockets, I've been eating them up every day. Um, <laughs> it is not a man who is who has higher level of testosterone that is going around shooting up schools and doing all these things It's a man who is in conflict with himself who who is weak who is who doesn't have the mental fortitude and strength to control how we feel and biggest thing of all and I think something that we are seeing currently right now the governments would take us over they would take advantage of us because we have no men to defend any of that now more than ever in history our roles as men are completely unknown rather forgotten we should be striving to regain our understanding of what we need to be or rather what God needs us to become we need fathers to be fending the family unit to be strengthening their children to be giving them guidance giving them that that support that strength that is required family is being attacked more than ever I mean you see it with the whole gay agenda the whole LGBT LGBTQ IA whatever plus extra exclamation mark you're seeing it with that without the roles of a man and a woman the family ceases to exist he can rise to his duties and defend those those very simple God-given element. Families will fall apart if a man cannot rise to his duties. Nowadays, misogyny is just a buzzword, right? We say it just to rile the crowds up to get everybody angry and frustrated on both sides. Somehow, the media has made the patriarchy sound absolutely evil. Do you even know what the patriarchy is? I think our understanding of it is not very biblical like it used to be. It's not very, it's, we've, we've taken a whole new stance on the patriarchy. The biggest thing that encapsulates all of this, it's pride on both sides, men and women, liberal, conservative. Everybody is just so full of pride, they can't even really see what's right and what's wrong. So yes, the patriarchy has been absolutely watered down and made to look, um, look poison, if that makes sense. A man's desire to provide for his family should not be misogynistic. Nowadays, you see, you see uh, figures like Andrew Tate, Donald Trump, right? Um, you see uh, Aunt, uh, Jordan Peterson, even for that matter. All these different figures who are speaking out for and behalf of men. Even Candace Owens, she has kind of been bringing these these things up, talking about 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 men a lot recently. How we need to rise up. How for some reason, somewhere in in time. We've forgotten what it means to be men. All these figures are great examples of, of people trying to make men great again, if that makes sense. I'd like to think that the reason men feel so lost and broken in society today is because we're ready to make a change. We're ready to rise up and do things the right way. We're ready to do things God's way. That's why everybody's in so much conflict right now because there is about to be a huge change taken forth. But the thing is we have to rise up first. We have to be a part of this movement because us as men, we, we have a very crucial role. Let this be a, a warning for you guys. If you are feeling miserable, if you are feeling broken, if you are feeling like you lack purpose right now, it is likely because you do. Um, and, and that is just kind of a warning sign that our body is giving us, that God is giving us, that we need to rise up, that we need to make things work before it's too late because we are running out of time. We ran out of time yesterday. We've been out of time for years, but the only way we can make this work is if we really come to, to ourselves and reawaken our purpose. There is a possibility to get out of this whirlpool of doubt and sadness and depression. There is a way. There absolutely is a way. In conclusion, the least we can do is of course watch our foods, right? We need to be careful about the foods and things that we are consuming because yes, that is playing probably the biggest role in demasculinizing a society. So we need to be studying masculinity. We, we need to be looking at masculine figures. We need to be trying to improve ourselves every day, waking up early, going to the gym, doing all these different things, trying to be the best version of ourselves. And in particular, the thing that we need to be looking at the most is the attributes of masculinity. You can find them all over the scriptures. You can find them in masculine figures like the ones I brought up. Maybe you have a couple of your own, right? That you feel like you want to take 
bits and pieces out of to, to create yourself, right? They're, they're everywhere, they're all around us. We just need to kind of open our minds and just look for them. If you want my advice, I would start with humility because pride is the wall that stands between us and God. And if we do not have God, we cannot progress as people. We cannot rise to our purpose and we cannot fulfill the mission that God has, has placed in our paths in this life. You cannot progress without God. Don't forget that. Anyways, guys, this was a short video, something that I felt was very, very needed. I've been making a lot of shorts recently on YouTube. And this to me, this was a topic that I felt was so important. I could not turn up, turn down this opportunity. I could not turn down this inspiration rather. If you guys want to see more videos like this, I would absolutely love to see you guys stick around. I make content every single week, like these weekly quality videos. And then I make daily shorts every single day, sometimes five a day. Even right now I'm doing seven a day at the time that I'm making this. Um, this is a temporary thing, but I'd be happy if you guys would lend some support, subscribe and support this movement. Um, I'm so thankful for you guys' time. I will see you guys in the next video.